I'm going to show you the exact T height for fade, draw, and straight. Now, I know you have been a victim of YouTube videos trying to draw it on a fade T height and trying to fade it on a draw T height. It's completely wrong. Now, I'm not going to leave here today until I hit every single one of those shots, draw, fade, and straight over 260 yards carry. I'm Alex Elliott top 50 world coach. And I know for a fact you can control your ball flight and get more distance just like I'm going to demonstrate today. And remember, I ain't going to leave until it's over 260 carry. Let's start with fade, the fade T height. Now, this is really interesting. The fade T height, if I can stop it on there, is going to be your lowest. And that's why you're going wrong. So many golfers tee it low because they feel more comfortable. Now, this is the tee height I want you to have when you're fading the golf ball. Now, there's not just tee height involved in this. Each and every one of these positions, you need to make sure you've got the right ball position to correspond to it too. So there's a little bit of science at play here. Essentially, when the ball's teed lower, you want to hit down more. Hitting down more creates more of this sort of left to right spin for a right-handed golfer. Hitting down more makes it easier to fade the golf ball with driver. And the final thing you need to do, corresponding tee height and ball position, is make sure it's as far forward as you can get it. Have a look at this in player cam. I've literally got this on my big toe. Now remember, this has to go over 260. Watch this fade round the corner. Oh, look at it come back. I just told you. Now, the only thing is, will it have the yardage? We had the ball flight. Drum roll. Oh, we're just short on the fade, but what a hit that was. What a hit. Maybe slightly sort of low, but that was the perfect shot shape just through the right ball position and the right tee height. Now, why ball position is so key, moving your ball position further forward, have a look at this arc on the screen right here, essentially means you're more likely relative to the ball to have a slightly out to path, making it more fade bias. Now, so many golfers want to hit the golf ball straight, but remember I said so many of you become victim to trying to draw it off the wrong tee height. Also, so many comments here about how you hit it straight, I'll be honest with you, this will surprise you. This is my least used tee height. But before I get into that, I need to hit this fade shot. 260 carry. Ooh, that has to be it. That is it. Fading back, round that corner. This just suits my eye on that tee height. Even longer. 270 yards carry, fading it around the corner. It just shows what a difference it makes. Now, this is the T height for straight, and this will be a little bit higher. So you can see a quarter of the ball above the face. As I said, this is my least preference in terms of what one I'm comfortable doing. So this might be the hardest one to get over that 260 mark. But if you follow this, I do believe you can gain some yards. Ball position, we want to move it slightly back, so we're going inside the left heel now, on the left heel as opposed to the big toe. But please follow this. Look at that ball position from player cam inside my left heel, and you know what? Even better, if your playing partner, your doubles partner's making this mistake, pull them up on it and say, hey, you know what? If you're trying to hit it straight, do this. Right, here we go. Straight at that little white mark. I feel a bit anxious about this, I'm not going to lie. It's poker straight. It's absolutely poker straight. It's a tiger line. I'm a little bit nervous. Come on, please. <sighs> Get in there. You tell you what, I should employ that tactic way more often. 268 carry. That I'll be honest, that's probably 18 yards further than I thought it was going to go. And that's the success you can have. Did anybody else feel that pause of silence before getting that yardage? But anyway, on to the next one, draw T height and ball position. We're now talking draw T height. And I said at the start of the video, this is where you've been going totally wrong and become a victim to YouTube videos. So let's talk how high you want to tee this. Now this will feel super uncomfortable, but we need three quarters of the ball above the face. Something like this you can see here. Please, 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 please copy that. Now there's some science at play here. Teeing it higher means you can afford to move the ball slightly back, accessing the in to out arc. Also, 
we're getting more chance of reducing spin. Not like this, chopping down on it, like we said with fade, woof, like this, more hitting up, like in this direction, gives them a much better chance of drawing the golf ball. Now, these are the tactics all top pros are implementing, but us golfers, we're just putting it down willy-nilly. Watch this draw ball flight, and please pay attention to this ball position. Have a look at that ball position right there. That is so far back, isn't it? A whole club head inside my lead heel. Go. And I know that's super surprising to see it that far back. Trust me. Here we go, last one for a full clean sweep. Oh, look at it drawing back. It started over that tree line. That was brave, Alex. That was super brave. That was hit so good. It's got to be the longest. It's not. The fade was longer, but we still got over that mark. So I promise you, we got them all over 260 and they're the exact T heights. Please follow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is the only place for simple tips on YouTube. I'm telling you.